What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a low-impact cardio and standing abs workout. Today's routine is broken up into four parts. In part one, we're getting started with a warm-up. Next, we'll move into the low-impact cardio. And in part three, we're gonna work your core without ever getting down on the floor. And we'll finish off with a cool down. While today's routine doesn't require any equipment, you may wanna have either a couple of light hand weights or water bottles for added resistance. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow along with me for all of the modifications. If you do follow me today, please be sure to have a chair on hand for a few of the exercises. If you're ready to go, let's get into it. All right, let's begin with our warm up. And the purpose of our warm up today is to elevate our body temperatures as well as getting our heart rate up and a little bit of ad mobility work in there. First, we're gonna start with a squat to overhead reach. Feet are shoulder width apart. Hands are up by our ears. Let's start with a squat, sitting back down, weight in our hips, nice full range of motion on that squat. And then as we stand up, reach big and tall overhead. As we come down, pull down from those elbows and then reach overhead. Nice balance on that squat, driving through our midfoot so we're not falling back onto our heels, we're not losing our balance coming onto our toes, but trying our best to stay nice and equally balanced. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling as we come up and reach overhead. Again, there's a warm up pace here. We don't wanna burn ourselves out, Warming up our shoulders and our lower body at the same time. Let's go one more. Excellent work. All right, next we're gonna move into warming up our posterior chain. That's our lower back, glutes and hamstrings. Starting with our feet shoulder width apart. Let's put our hands on our head. A little bend in those knees. Now, drive the hips backwards as we keep our back straight. Feel that stretch in the back of our legs. Stand up. Squeezing our glutes up at the top. Repeat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Very good. Great one to, again, like I said, warm up that posterior chain. Lower back, hamstrings, glutes. Let's do our best not to turn this into a squat. We want to keep our knees nice and bent. And just drive your posterior as if you're trying to touch the wall right behind you. You know, the way I like to achieve that is you start with a little bend in your knees and then you keep that same bend throughout the move. So you're not like increasing your knee flexion as you come down and like Claudia said, turning it into a squat. Last one right here. All right, very good. We got two for one move next for our upper body. We're gonna do a fly plus a row. Feet again, shoulder width apart. Let's bend over, hinge those hips on a 45 degree angle. Arms are hanging down, a little bend in those elbows. We're gonna start with the fly. Pull, squeeze the middle of your back. And then now pull straight back in your elbows and we're gonna do a row. So it's a fly, return, row, return. Very good. Again, like I said, this one's gonna warm up that upper body, your shoulders, chest, back, and even a little bit of legs here because you have to support yourself, right? Excellent. 
on that fly, pretending like we're somebody's got their finger in the middle of your back and you're squeezing it. And then, then on that row, we're pretending like we're pulling back from the elbows like there's a string attached to them. A couple little cues there for you. Make sure that you're using the right muscle groups. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I think we're feeling I'm up. warm, let's do this. Ready for some work, y'all. All right, first move is gonna be a hook punch. Now I am gonna grab my light hand weights for this one. And I'm not gonna have any weights at all. Throughout today's routine, you're gonna have to decide for each move if it's appropriate for you to grab some weight or just do body weight. So let's start with our feet shoulder width apart. Hands are up at our chin, and we're gonna alternate hook punches. Let's start with our left hook, and then right, there it is. Notice how we're rotating at our hips and our core. So it's not just our arms going side to side, no. We're getting our whole body involved on this one. Breathe, bring that elbow up, rotate, using that power from your hips, your core, your shoulders and making sure to breathe the whole time. I'm gonna keep reminding you of that throughout today's workout. So easy to hold your breath, but my goodness, that'll catch up with you quick if you do. Especially if you're concentrating on getting the movement right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, our brains do need oxygen to work, so <laughs> they're not gonna work so well without it. You got it, come on. Let's go, Tribe. 10 more seconds on this one. Right to left, alternating. Getting into a little rhythm here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I'm setting my hand weights down for the next one. Another combo move, we're gonna do a butt kick plus a pullback. Let's start with our feet shoulder width apart, arms out in front of us. At the same time, I'm gonna pull back on my elbows, bring my right heel to my right glute, return. Now left side, right and left. So a little coordination involved in this one. Get a little rhythm going. That's it, might take you a rep or two to get used to it. Making sure to extend fully and breathe. That's it right there. Try to get full range of motion on that butt kick. Bring that heel all the way back to the extent that your body allows. Focusing on your balance. This one's not only working your balance, but of course your cardiovascular system, our shoulders, our back, our chest, our quadriceps, our hamstrings, glutes. Am I missing anything, Claudia? I don't think you're missing anything. No, no yeah, a lot you, of- I think you got it all. I got it all, okay, good, thank you. Again, I, the purpose of today's workout is really not just to get that cardio in, but to do functional moves that are going to work multiple muscle groups. That's it, not much left on this one. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. All right, next up, we're gonna do what's called an oblique pull down. Let's start with our right arm, reaching straight up overhead. Now we're gonna pull that elbow down, bring up our right knee, squeeze that oblique, return. Left hand up, left knee, right and left. There it is. So as you're pulling down, you're bringing that knee up and squeezing and contracting that oblique. Sometimes I like to even put my hand there just to feel and make sure I'm contracting in the right spot left to right. Now it's important that you move at a pace that challenges you. That mean, may mean you're going faster than us, may mean you're going slower than us. And it doesn't really matter as long as you find that perfect tempo that works for you, that's gonna challenge you and going to spark that improvement, spark those results, push you past any plateau you may have monitoring your breathing throughout. That's it, big reach, pull down. Not many left here. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero, boom. All right, next up we're gonna do a straight arm jack. Now my variation is gonna be very, very low impact, but there is some impact. Claudia's variation is gonna be zero impact. Zero impact here. Starting with my feet together, hands out in front of me and together. I'm gonna jump out and bring my arms open and then bring it together. And I'm gonna kick my leg out to the side and I'm gonna return it to starting position as I bring my hands back together. 
So you, feel com you decide here if you feel comfortable with a very low impact or if you want a zero impact like Claudia is doing. Either way, stay nice and light on the balls of your feet here. Continuing to breathe. And notice I have a nice slight bend in my knee. I don't have my knees locked out during this movement. That's it. And again, you may not feel comfortable bringing your leg quite as high as Claudia is. And if that's the case, again, you do so as much as you feel comfortable, what your body allows, making this workout work for you. That's right. Not many left here. 10 more seconds. How many can you get, Tribe? Let's Pick go. Pick up the speed a little bit as you get used to the movement. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Woo. Nice, nice big work. deep breath. All right, next up, we're gonna do either a side shuffle or a side to side step. I'm putting my weight in my hips here and I'm gonna bring my right foot to my left, left foot to my right, weight to my hips and I'm shuffling. And for me, I'm starting with my feet in the middle, stepping out to my left, coming back to the middle, and then going out to my right. If you are following me in the shuffle, make sure that you're not clicking your feet together. Make sure that you're not crossing your feet over. And either variation, having that weight in your hips is so very, very important. If you are in between our two movements, just replace your foot with a little bounce here in the middle. But again, we want you to find an exercise that works best for you. It's a great tip, Claudia. So again, you're noticing this theme where we want you to make this workout work for you. There's no one size fits all solution. You know your body better than we do, better than anybody else. Push yourself, but at the same time, make sure you're staying safe here. Not much left. Let's go, tribe. Come on, last 10 seconds. You got this. For five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Woo. Nice work. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my hand weights for the next one. And I'm gonna continue with no weights, but again, if you need to add some resistance, go ahead. We're gonna do a donkey kick plus alternating arm extension feeder together. I'm gonna bring my right arm up and my left leg up at the same time. Return back down, left arm, right leg. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is going to test your balance. That's right. Again, we're not perfect either. So sometimes we like seeing or having you see us falter. So you know we're human too, all working together, trying to get a little better. Again, if it helps you find a focal point on the wall, on the floor, straight ahead of you, do whatever you can to help you maintain your balance through this movement. And on that leg, as it comes up, we're bringing that heel up, squeezing our glutes up at the top. Trying to get a full range of motion with that arm. Very good. This one's working your balance too. Very functional move here. Help you out the, those, what they call activities of daily living, which is a very fancy way of just saying the stuff that we do every day in our life. Improving that balance. There it is. Let's go 10 more seconds, Tribe. You got this. Let's go, stay tough, stay in it. Let's do this, come on. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna hold on to my hand weights for the next one. And again, no weights for me. And we're gonna move into what's called a split knee drive. So staggered stance, right leg is gonna come back. Opposite arm back. So for me, that's right leg, left arm back. And now bring my left arm and my right knee up and return. Give a nice little forward lean here. Bend in that front knee. You're gonna feel that front leg really start to work as it supports your body. Oh yeah, I feel the burn already. <laughs> Focusing on balance, engaging your core as that knee comes up. Excellent, opposite arm, working, pumping together, getting your shoulders working, keeping those elbows at a 90 degree angle. And as you drive that knee up, make sure you give a nice exhale and inhale as you step back. That's it. We're going half and half on each side. So we got five, four, three, two, one, zero. Switching sides, Ooh. same move now. Opposite arm back, that's it, and begin. Very good. Nice light ground touch with that foot as it goes back. That's it. 
This is a good time, tribe, to remind yourself what it is that brought you here today. Why are you working out? Why did you hit that play button? Everything else you could be doing today, you decided to come work out. What goal are you working on? What's it gonna take for you to get there? How are you gonna maintain consistency? That's it, come on, let's go. We're proud of you for showing up today and we're excited that you're gonna show up and do it with us again. Come on, right here, let's go. 10 more seconds. Woo, come on, Pushing try. through, we're feeling it too. Push to the end, here we go. For three, two, one, zero. Woo, <sighs> I'm gonna let my legs on fire Oh a yeah, bit. I did. All right, well the good news is this next one's gonna work your upper body. Let those legs calm down a minute. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna do what's called a seesaw press. I did grab my water bottles for this one. And I'm holding on to mine. We're gonna alternate right arm press straight up overhead. As that right arm comes down, our left presses over and alternating. So you notice we don't wait for the one arm to come all the way down before the next one starts. But instead, we got that seesaw movement pattern going. Really gonna work your shoulders, test your shoulders on this one. And if you did start with a heavier weight and about right now you're like, woo, <laughs> that's not gonna work. That's okay, either go to a lighter weight or just your arms on their own. You'd probably be surprised. Oh yeah. How much of a workout right now you can get with just this. These water bottles feel like they're 10 pounds for some reason. Must have been my workout yesterday. Must, must have been. <laughs> We've been working hard just like you have. Come on, oh, and I'm perspiring over here. This workout's kicking my butt. Hope it is yours too. Last 10 seconds, folks, come on. Let's go, Tribe, 10 seconds. How many can you get? Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. For three, two, one, zero. Oh, goodness. Ooh, burn so good. Let me lose these. All right, next up. Again, I have a low impact variation. Claudia has a no impact. No impact. So I'm going faux jump rope, lighting on the balls of my feet. I am jumping. And I'm just coming up to the balls of my feet and that's it, and straight back down. Yep, so she's never actually leaving the ground. You decide which variation is right for you. If you are doing my variation, make sure that you're returning energy back into the ground. So it's not a big heavy pound, but instead you are being a bouncy ball and not a rock. Oh my goodness. Nice my little calves are you feeling on it? fire. She's feeling it folks. We hope you are too. Come on, right here. Right there with you every rep folks. Let's go tribe, come on. Come on, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. I can't stop, no stopping for me. That's it, right here, right now. Last 10 seconds, last 10 seconds, you got it. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Next up, we're gonna do a curl plus a front kick. So we're both gonna grab our light hand weights for this one. Another little combo move. We're gonna start with a curl, palms are facing up, and at the same time, I'm bringing my knee up and kicking out in front of me. And I'm doing a low kick, so I'm not kicking quite as high as Coach Kozak, but just down here and giving a little kick. You decide which height of your kick makes sense to you. So it's obviously working your balance as well. And on that kick, try to bring your knee up into a chambered position and then extend the leg. So regardless of how high you're bringing it, the method is really, it really stays the same. Keeping those palms up, good posture, nice balance, nice soft ground touches when you return that foot back down to the ground. And I, as always, we're breathing through it. That's right, exhale on that kick and curl up. This one's working your forearms, your biceps, a little bit of core, quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes. Again, another move that's working multiple muscle groups here. One right into the next, folks. Let's go, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Remember, that heart rate should be up right now. If it's not, you need to move faster. Change does not happen without first being challenged. That's right. Gotta challenge yourself here. Push yourself just a little harder than you did yesterday. That's it, every day getting a little bit better. Not much left, last 10 seconds, come on. Arms are starting to feel it, legs are starting to feel it, but we're pushing through for three, two, one, zero. Whew, all right, 
We can set those down. We have everybody's favorite exercise coming up next called a mountain climber. I'm gonna grab my chair for this modification. And I'm gonna move down to the floor. Again, you decide which is more appropriate for you. I'm coming down into a high plank position. I'm bringing my right knee up, returning. Left knee up, returning. And I'm doing a step up. Bringing my knee up, stepping, and then returning it backwards, and then bringing the next knee up. Keeping your core tight, your back straight. Shouldn't have your butt way up in the air, and you also shouldn't have it slouching down. And we shouldn't be rounding our back as we bring our knee up. It should be a nice, straight line. Keep a little bend in your elbows as well. We don't want to hyperextend those arms. Focusing on our breathing, whenever we get into this high plank position, very often it can lead to holding our breath. Make sure you're not doing that. And so we are showing it to you from the chair, but if you wanna make it a little easier, maybe choose a, a, an object that's, that is higher, like a countertop, or if you wanna make it harder, but you're not quite ready to come down to the floor, choose an object that's a little lower. Not much left here. Ooh, this is getting the heart rate up. Let's go last 10 seconds. Ooh, come on, try it, push it. Right there, dig deep for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. Ooh, all right, very good. Shake it out. We are gonna grab our light hand weight for the next one. Only need one this time around, no? Ooh, all righty. Yep, it's for a standing <laughs> twist. Grabbing that hand weight on either side, little bend in our knees, and we're gonna twist to the right and then to the left, using that core. So it's not just your arms going back and forth, right? But instead, we're actually rotating from our hips. A good way to think of it is your head should stay in line with that hand weight as you rotate. Oh, that's a good one. Just to make sure again that you're actually rotating from your core and hips and not just swinging your shoulders back and forth. Ooh. Keep your core engaged here. And depending on your range of motion, you might be to like a 45 to 45 and not be able to do the full twist. And that's all right as well. Again, just another variation here for you to adjust this routine for your specific needs. Shouldn't have your core loose on this one, but she tight. Keep it tight throughout the whole move. That doesn't mean hold your breath tight. No. It means you have to continue breathing, but just make sure that you're engaging and squeezing those ab muscles yes. as you rotate. Squeezing them, feeling those abs working here. Who says you need to get down on the floor to work your abs? Doing it from right here. That's it. It's a great rotational movement, another functional move, because you know, we do twists in our day-to-day -day lives, picking up stuff, rotating, just in our normal movement patterns. We want to train the way that we live. Let's go last 10 seconds here. I'm feeling my abs working, feeling Ooh, those my obliques. Goodness. Let's go, Tribe, come on. Keeping it tight for three, two, one, zero. All right, I am gonna pick up my second hand weight for the next one. We are gonna do what's called a battling rope. Feet your shoulder width apart, weight in my hips. And now I'm gonna alternate right and left arms and the inspiration for this move is what's called a battling rope exercise. Have you ever seen anybody with a big twine rope and they take it and they alternate right and left? Well, we're doing the same thing without having to invest in a hundred foot rope. <laughs> these, these take up a lot less space. They do take up a lot less space and just as functional. Arms coming up and down. That's it, getting into a rhythm. Yeah. Making that core work. Weights in your hips, so you're seated back a little bit, almost in like a quarter squat. So you shouldn't be standing straight up and down on this one. So you will feel a little bit of a burn in those quads. That's it, again, another total body move here. Very functional. I think you probably heard me say that word once or twice so far today. I may even say it again. That's it, work on your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads, your abs, your shoulders, a little bit of grip and forearms. Yep. All working together to make this one happen and you have last 10 seconds. Come on. Breathe through, come on. Push I'll... to the end. That's right. Don't pause that workout, come on. Let's go. Push it, push it. You're a fighter, not a quitter. For three, two, one, zero. All right, 
You can actually hold on to those, Claudia. Oh, she's getting ahead of herself a little bit here. We're gonna do a tricep kickback <gasps> plus a step back. You're right, I was moving on to the last I one. I know, well, wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. <laughs> All right, start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a tricep kickback plus step back. Let's bring those elbows up and they're in a ready position. I'm gonna step back with my right leg and extend for my elbows. Return, step back with my left leg. So as I step back, I'm extending from my elbow, squeezing the back of my arm. You notice how we're both on a little forward lean here. It's important for not only balance, but also we're getting our legs involved here. So that lead leg is gonna be taking on the majority of our body weight as we step forward. Try your best to keep that upper arm parallel to the floor. If your elbows are too low, then your triceps aren't working here. So keep, see how we're keeping those elbows high and they stay high throughout the whole move. And if you're having difficulty maintaining that position, then feel free to drop your weights. That's it. Great modification. Thank you, Claudia. Again, pushing yourself here. Come on. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Pushing yourself, but working at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Got to be able to breathe. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. All right. Arms now are catching you drop on fire. Now we can drop one. <laughs> Holding on to one more. Next up we're doing is called a sledge hammer. Grabbing onto that hand weight on both sides or just interlocking your fingers if you're not using hand weight. We're gonna bring that left arm up and over to the center, slam down. Now over to the opposite side, up and over, slam down. So again, pretending like we're using a good old fashioned sledge hammer without the impact, coming up and over. And then using our abs and our legs to drive that weight straight down on every repetition. Again, not holding their breath, but breathing throughout. Inhale, exhale as you come down. Ooh, my legs are feeling this one. Ooh, I think it's working, y'all. Hope it's working for you too, because I know it's working for us. That's it, about halfway done with this one. Come on, right to the end. We're not gonna quit when we're tired. We're gonna stop when we're done. That's right. Come on, you started this workout and you're gonna finish it today. Come on, that's good. That is because you are a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it, HasFit Tribe. Every day, showing up, doing what you know needs to be done to accomplish those goals. Last 10 seconds here. Come on, right here, right here. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. We are gonna need one hand weight for our first standing abs move. If you are using it, otherwise you can just interlace your fingers. Grabbing on, on either side, we're gonna do a step back plus rotation. So I'm gonna step back with my right foot, twist to my left, return back to center. Now, twisting to my right, step back with my left, alternating between right and left sides, making sure that you're actually rotating and twisting your core and not just moving your arm side to side on this one. That's right, don't cheat yourself out of these awesome ab moves here. Twist into the movement. We wanna just move our shoulders. Good little trick for that is to make sure that you're keeping your head in line and your eyesight in line with that dumbbell as a twist. That way you're not just turning it side to side like so. Moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with here and keeping that core engaged. So that doesn't mean you're holding your breath, but instead it means that those abs are nice and tight throughout. Nice soft bend in your knees. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Well, Claudia was calling this next one a little bit of a dance move in, in the warm up. So let's see if we can get this dance move going. It's a side to side plus a twist. Hands are out in front. Let's start with the footwork. So we're gonna step side to side. That's all it is right there. Now let's add a twist, twist. So as you come to that outside leg, you're gonna actually twist into it. Excellent, again, same as the last one where we're making sure that we're actually rotating from the core. Hey, you know, dancing is fun. It is. It's good for coordination. I could use a little bit of that. 
Yes, you could. Hey, you weren't supposed to agree with me there. That's <laughs> so what this you is get. good. That's, that's what you get for being married. You get the truth, I think, is what, what comes. All right. Breathe side to side there. You got it. Nice light ground touches with that side to side. You want heavy steps. And engaging those abs on every single twist. Let's do this one for 10 more seconds. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Next up, we're gonna do what's called a cross body chop. So if you are using a hand weight, let's take two hands on one, interlacing those fingers. Now I'm going to chop or bring that dumbbell up and pivot on that outside foot. There yeah, it is. Right here, this See left right one. there. Bring it back to center. Opposite side now. Right to left. So it's almost like I'm throwing my hands up over my shoulders and rotating from my hips and my feet as I rotate. Again, moving at a pace that you feel comfortable with. Getting that heart rate up here. And who says we need to get down on the floor to work our core? We're doing it right here. Oh, I feel like I'm shaking a drink with this one. Oh, wow. Sorry, maybe that's Maybe just... after the workout. <laughs> not during your workout, don't no, do that. No, that probably would not be advised. Just hydration and water, folks. Just water, that's it. Right to left, you got it. That's it, again, another functional move here. Forcing our body to work on multiple planes in ways that we are using our body in day-to-day -day life, right? Very functional move here. Let's go, last 10 seconds on this one. All right, I'm gonna push up the speed a little bit. All right, if you got it, let's see it. For three, two, one, zero. Whew. All right, holding on to that one hand weight once again, grabbing on on either side. Let's start by bringing it straight up overhead. We're gonna do a standing pike. I'm doing it with my legs straight. And I'm just gonna do a knee raise on this move. So we're gonna crunch down. I'm bringing my right straight leg up and then returning and then left straight leg up and returning. And you'll notice Claudia is actually bending that knee, doing that knee raise. But both of us have the crunch in common. We're focusing on contracting those abs and then standing up big and tall in between. This one's also gonna test your balance. Yes, it is. Woo. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath here. Working at a pace that you can control your balance. And don't put pressure on yourself to be perfect here. We're not perfect either. We're all in it together, trying to get a little better. Or to keep up with our speed. Yeah, that's it, move at a speed that's right for you. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh. All right, we got a fun one up next, and it's a new one for us too. It's called a cursive alphabet, and it's really gonna engage our core. Grabbing onto that hand weight, and I guess test our brains a little bit too, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. We're there gonna... won't be a quiz after this, I No, promise. no quiz. So we're gonna go through the whole alphabet and draw it out in front of us. Before we do that, weights in your hips, solid base. Solid. All right, now I want you to use your abs to draw the letter A. Very good. Now let's go the letter B. Now let's see if we remember our whole cursive alphabet. C. Very good. <laughs> D. You got it, E, use that core to move that weight. What comes after E? Is it A, B, F? C, D, E, F? There it is, oh thank my. you. I'm just joking. Yeah. G, <laughs> I'm not that bad, folks, I, I promise you. Letter H, there we go. I, do it. there we go, Capital J. J. Yeah, I'm kind of mixing it up, half a minor capital, half a lowercase. K, very good. Working those shoulders too, L. M, making sure you're keeping that core engaged. N, O, P, nice, using those abs. Q, R, S, very good. T, U, hard to talk during this. 
<laughs> B. And if you finish before us, just start over. That's it. W. <laughs> you probably go faster than me. X. Y. And Z. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. Whew. Really getting that core engaged today. Next up, we're gonna do what's called a Warrior Three Balance. My variation is gonna require a lot of balance. Claudia's variation is just gonna require some balance. You decide which is more appropriate for you. Again, dump hand weight on either side, standing back into a staggered stance. Let's start by hinging in our hips and then reaching out straight in front. Now I'm gonna bring my elbows in, crunch in, bring that knee in. Now I'm gonna extend my leg back. And I'm just gonna go back to the starting point. Ooh, and I'm really working my balance here. Very good. And again, don't feel like you have to be perfect on this one. And for me, finding a focal point on the ground really helps me maintain my balance throughout this movement. Do not hold your breath here. Keeping a bend in the knee of that base leg throughout using that core to get through it folks let's go five four three two one zero all right <sighs> of course you know we got to keep things even got to so we need to switch it up <laughs> same move opposite side step back did you want to take this one for this next round or no, it's all you. Oh, it's you still got it. me. You're okay. doing great. Well, I, I thought I'd just check. I You're didn't, you know. You're so good. Now oh. keep it up. See how she, see how she, see, did you see that right there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Arm out in front of us. Again, let's bring that knee up. Core stays engaged and extend. Whichever variation you choose, remember to breathe. My breath on this one is as I'm bringing my knee up, I'm exhaling. Inhale as we stretch back out. That's it. Really getting those abs firing here, forcing them to work. You know, our abs and our core is the bridge between our lower and upper bodies. And it has to work to bring it all together here. Whoa. Whoa, come Don't on. Don't be afraid if you lose it there. I'm not perfect either. Let's <laughs> see if I can hold it. Whoa. You got it. Just barely. And you can see we're not perfect either. Just like you, we're working on getting better. Ooh, this one's a little rougher. And five, four. You got it. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs> I gave it my best, folks. My legs are, <laughs> they're on fire. But hey, we're in it to get better together. Next move is an overhead side bend. Feet are shoulder width apart. Let's kick that weight straight up overhead. We're gonna get our obliques working. Let's bend to the right and straight up. Let's bend to the left and then straight up. Soft bend in our knees. And it does not take a lot of, or a large range of motion. No, it doesn't. You notice I have a little bit of a range of motion, but that's okay. I'm feeling the stretch and I'm feeling the contraction in my oblique during this whole movement. And force those abs to work. Really force that core and oblique to pull you back up to center every time. Be very deliberate about that movement pattern. Excellent. Breathe here. You got it. Not much left. Not holding your breath. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent work. Nice work, Hasfit Tribe. You made it. Glad that's All over done. with. Nice yes. work out there. All right, time for our cool down. And the purpose of our cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down slowly and we get a little extra mobility work in at the same time. We're starting with a standing quad stretch. I'm gonna do it on my own. Hopefully I can keep good balance. I'm gonna use my chair for a little extra balance here. So we're gonna start with our left foot. I'm gonna reach back, grab my left leg, keep that knee in for balance. If I bring my right arm up, it helps me to stay balanced. Claudia is using that opposite side hand to grab onto the chair. Yes, especially after an intense workout like this, it's okay to grab a chair or even a wall uh, just to help you maintain your balance here safely. Great point. Try your best to keep that knee in close to your side so it's not flaring out. Just a static stretch. We're just holding here for five, four, 
three, two, one, zero. All right, it didn't fall on the first one. Let me see if I can go two for two here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going up my left hand, right leg back, Claudia switch sides, a little wobbly. There we go, back to home. I have plenty of space if you wanna oh, well, share. Too late now. <laughs> Thank you though. Nice controlled breathing. Trying your best to bring that heart rate back down to normal. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, there it is. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I know you're concerned out there. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. <sighs> After a tough workout, balancing is just that much more difficult. Exactly. All right, next up, we are going to do a shoulder mobility move. It's called an isometric upright external rotation. There will be a test later, so make sure that you've marked <laughs> that in your notes. I'm only joking, of course. Elbows up, 90 degree angle, pull back on those hands. And now we're gonna oh. hold here. So almost like somebody's behind you and they're gently pulling your hands back. Keep a nice 90 degree angle at your underarm as well as at your elbow. It's a great one for your rotator cuffs and overall shoulder. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it right here in my chest. Ooh, and yep. Uh, and if your chest is tight, you definitely will feel this one in your chest too. Thank you for, for reminding me on that one, Claudia. Ah. A good one also to help improve your posture, help you restore that posture after our, you know, daily modern lifestyles are kicking our butts. Sitting, reading our phones. Driving. Driving. All the above, working at a desk. All of the not so natural positions. For three, two, one, zero. All right, shake those shoulders loose here. Ooh. Next up, we're gonna do a step back and reach. So we're gonna step back into a staggered stance with our right leg, left hand on our hips, right arm comes up and over. Now for my variation, I'm gonna drop my back knee just a little bit more. And I'm just gonna stay right here in the same position. Feeling a stretch all throughout your side, your lat, your oblique, hip flexor, quad. Again, trying to get as much bang for our buck on this one and just hold. That's it, again, nice controlled breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Then of course we need to even things out. So let's do the same move opposite side now. Put my right hand on my hip, left leg steps back. I'm gonna drop my back knee and I'm reaching up and across. That's it. Focusing on bringing that heart rate back down. Control breathing here. If you find yourself having a little bit of an issue with balance, maybe just widen your stance just a little bit. Great tip for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, coming back up, moving into a downward dog. I'm gonna move to the floor for this one. And I'm gonna grab the chair again. You decide which variation is more appropriate for you. So now I'm gonna walk my feet up and then I'm gonna pretend like somebody's pulling back on my hips, like somebody's behind me and they're just pulling my hips back behind me, keeping my shoulders relaxed, feeling a stretch in my hamstrings, my calves, shoulders and back. For my variation, my knees are soft and I'm just kind of keeping a square, making a square with the ground and with the chair. Notice I have my hands on the back of the chair, and I'm just kind of letting my head and my shoulders sink into the position. And we're just relaxing here. It's that time of the workout, folks, where you need to be proud of yourself for showing up today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit, but we all know that is not the case. And that's what makes you so special for showing up today putting in that work and getting just that much closer to your goals. And you're gonna do it again on your next scheduled workout day. This is a habit, it's a lifestyle. This isn't a temporary thing for you. This is just part of your life. It's something that you know is going to improve the quality of your life for the long haul. And for that, we are proud of you for showing up and putting in the work today. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come on up nice and slowly nice. here. Nice, yes. Ooh, wanna allow that 
Blood to return <laughs> back to the brain. Very good. All right. Nice work. Nice work. And thank you for working out with us today. Did you know that you get even faster results by following a complete exercise program? You can download the HasFit app on your iPhone or Android, or you can visit HasFit.com. And there you will find our complete exercise programs. And you can also stop by our store, pick up some gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Also, please don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channels. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. I am Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.